Oopsie. Hi Capricorn, <laughs> welcome to your What Lies Ahead reading for June 2020. Everything you need to know about this reading is in the description box below. This is intended to be an open reading, so whatever falls out is red. Could be a smattering of everything or just kind of concentrated in one area. Um, if this is about you and another person, it could be their moon, rising, or Venus sign. All right, Capricorn, what lies ahead for Capricorn, June 2020. Oh, and there's also going to be a little three-month um, snapshot and six-month snapshot at the end, as well as in another video, I'm doing this in the pick a deck or pick a card, no, pick a pile, that format. So, okay, if that's your flavor. All right. Okay, Capricorn, what lies ahead June 2020? All right. Here we go. Let's see. Six of Wands. Knight of Pentacles. That could be Taurus. Taurus. <laughs> Hierophant. Wow. Six of Swords. Interesting. So we got two sixes. Three of Pentacles, the Death card, could be Scorpio, and Ten of Wands. Okay, and then I'll do the other ones at the the three month and the six month because I need the room. I don't I don't know how detailed this is gonna get, so okay. I'm gonna be doing them right here. All right. So what's this? Okay, so you okay. Wow. Okay. Are you... This feels like you've got um, a new relationship starting and they're kind of into it or a, a new-ish. So whoever you've been dealing with, um, they're kind of wanting to, things to progress and you're like, oh, I don't know. You're not sure about it. Hmm. It's, I don't think it's work wanting more from you. This feels like a relationship, but I could be wrong. What's this Knight of Pentacles for Capricorn? You got somebody wanting more. Um, Five of Swords. Okay, whoopsie. What's this Hier Hierophant about? Capricorn. What's this Hierophant? Seven of Pentacles. Okay, so we got decision making here. Um, hmm. What's this Six of Swords? The six of Swords for Capricorn. Okay, really? We've got you deciding probably to walk away from a, a relationship here. Deciding that you just don't want to be that serious. Like you're just... If, doesn't have to be a relationship, but you're walking away from the commitment. You're not, you're not wanting um, things to be too serious right now. You're not wanting to get serious. You're not wanting to, to have things kind of um, die, uh, die. Well, okay, there's that. You're not wanting the commitment and any kind of labels or anything. It feels like you're, you're kind of bristling against that. That you've kind of got everybody at arm's length. You need a, you need a minute, basically. You're just, you're wanting to be real sure of your options this time around. What's this? You really want to know what you're dealing with and what you're getting into. What's this Three of Pentacles for Capricorn? This Three of Pentacles for Capricorn. Because because you've got someone that is probably going to be asking that um, from you. Um, maybe it's work asking for a three-year commitment or a contract from you. And you're like, no, oh, that's not going to work for me. Could be that. This feels like a relationship, though. This feels like you wanting to be very strategic about what, about your life, basically. About, because you, where you're at right now, um, you're, you're quite protective of your position on things right now. And, and you've got someone that, or something, you know, work, whatnot, that wants more of a commitment from you. And uh, you're just, you're not wanting that. Let's see. That jumped. So, um, Eight of Swords. So we got Knight of Swords here. That could be uh, Gemini or Aquarius. I usually read that as Aquarius, but I said Gemini, so we'll go with it. Okay. It's this Death card about for Capricorn. 
So that's Capricorn. Yeah, Scorpio and Capricorn. All right, so you're, you know, you're just kind of wanting to be on your own right now, honestly. This is Ten of Wands. You're just, you're wanting, it's almost like everybody back off so I can think. And it's, you don't mind the work that you're doing. You don't mind the work that you're doing, um, but you don't want it to be compounded by, if you're going to do work, you want it to be your choice if you're going to do more work, I should say you want it to be your choice because you offered or because you're committed to something or because it's your idea. Basically, you don't want to be asked of um, for something that you're just not ready for, that you have no interest in yet. You don't want to have to think about it. You don't want to have to decide about that. So um, yeah. it looks like you're you've got someone wanting more of a commitment from you or they're wanting you to work something out with them this could be work wanting more of your time or more of you know to contract you for another year or hey i know we said we'd give you some time off but we're really going to need you to hit it hard for us the next two weeks or something like that so this is you not wanting to have to give that extra oomph anymore feels like a relationship honestly what's this ten of wands And you're walking away because it's just too much. This is you probably seeing very clearly what you do and don't want just because you've been taken to that level, like kind of like crowded and you're just like, all right, everybody back off. This, 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 and this is going to happen. And you, it, you're being asked of a lot, Capricorn. And in June, um, it's like you're wanting to hit your stride and you got what you wanted. But then because you got what you wanted, it, it seems like even more people are like, well, hey, you know, how about this? How about can we this and that? And you're like, no, this is a, I just want this. And it, it's like, can can we just all be on the same page? Can everybody just stop asking of me and work with me? Can you want what I want instead of asking more of me? So this feels like you've got people just in general. Um, June is going to be a month where you're being asked of a lot in June from a relationship, from work, from, and you're really wanting to do your own thing. You're really wanting to just be able to break free and do your own thing. Um, and it's, it's basically going to get you to realize real quick what your priorities are and what you, not that you need, you know, this isn't the, the scolding like, well, you need to realize, no, but you're just going to realize, you know what, this is too much. We've all been through too much and things are pretty simplified for me now. And I only want this, this, and this in my life. And if you can truck with that, great. But if you're going to complicate things or if you're going to ask more of me or just kind of really want to work on something, I don't want to work on anything anymore. I just want to work. But I don't want to work on anything. If you're okay with that, if there's no drama, okay. If there's going to be drama, I'm nah, not doing it. Not doing it. That's for... Because it's, it, you, it's been a lot. It's been a lot. What else for Capricorn? Three months. Three months for Capricorn. Three months. Four of Wands. Mm -hmm. Six months for Capricorn. Six months. Capricorn. Hermit. Okay, so what's this Four of Wands about? For three months for Capricorn. What's this four of wands? So June feels like you're shedding the drama, basically, and, and wanting to be able to be in the driver's seat about what you're working on. It, you've finally gotten to where you've gotten, and then you feel like you're even being asked more of, and you're like, no, no more asking of me. What's this four of wands for Capricorn? Justice. Um, could be Libra. What else for this Four of Wands for Capricorn? What else for this Four of Wands for Capricorn? Oh, okay. <laughs> Is this someone coming back in four months, three months, and saying they're sorry? Um, they, they want to do the right thing that, you know, we belong together. I believe in this. Not discounting that. I just, I feel like, um, I feel like there's a little bit of, Someone, someone always moving the, the goalpost. It feels like they're always wanting something. They're always wanting, to, like, like being in situationship with them, whether it's work or whether it is a relationship or a friendship, whatever. Dealing with this, in, 
this situation in particular, it, they're, they're always wanting to work on something. They're always, there's just that me, that restlessness of, of, so because someone's always inclined to want to work and machinate and just nah, something, there's always this up and down because there's never any stasis. So you've got someone that'll go to those extremes, um, or a work time that maybe is like really complicated and then really there's a lull and then it's complicated but we're dealing with work. But again, I feel like this is relationship. So because someone's always kind of festering and picking at something, there's going to be those roller coaster, you know, rides and highs and lows. And there's going to be the I'm sorry's and there's going to be the euphoric returns and then the catastrophic blowouts or lows or just drama. And it's like, stop enough. If I'm going to work on something, I want it to be because I, I elected to do that or because something needs it. Not because you're just bored on a Saturday and you just, you've been thinking about something and not to save it. I, I, what's this? Okay. So, <laughs> so we got the four of wands, we got justice and we got the knight of cups. So this could be someone returning or someone wanting to take things to the next level, just a different tack. It looks like you've kind of told them what's what here in June. And then here comes September where they might be approaching you with a different offer. This could be somebody new, but it feels like someone coming back with an apology or a reason or an explanation as a way to get back in the door. Just saying could be a good thing or a bad thing. I feel like it's the same person that you're kind of wanting to put on hold here. So the, whoever this is, they like to work on stuff. They like to, they like to constantly be improving or managing or there's a busyness about this person could be your business, but I, I feel like it's a romantic relationship. What's this hermit about? What's this hermit about? Oopsie. This could be you in separation with someone. This could be you deciding to put a relationship on hold um, to deal with work and because it might be complicating things and you just want to focus on work and your stability because that's where, you know, I mean, things are going great. You don't want to take it any further. You want to complicate things. So this could be you putting a relationship on hold. Um, and then in three months, they come back saying, you know, I'm sorry I asked so much of you. I'm sorry I asked, you know, but I feel like you've been there before with this person that there's, there was again with the roller. Okay. You know, What's this hermit card about? So we got nine of wands. So we're talking about December-ish here. What's this hermit card about for Capricorn? Three of wands. Okay. So it looks like come December, you are... <laughs> now keep in mind, that's usually when there's a lot... Uh, there are a lot of festivities. Um, given what's going on globally right now, that could be doing its thing. Again, could be kind of still an issue or an, an issue resurging. So uh, re-emerging. So we've got nine of wands and three of wands here. And this could be... It's almost like you like where things are in your life, but you are thinking about, um, no, it's not. It's you wanting things to stay the, stay the same until you can get a clear grasp of what you want for the future. And again, so there's, there's a, there's a thread here of you having designs and plans for your future and you're wanting to firmly maintain your ability to decide that for your future. Come December, you're going to have um, a few, it feels like offers, but it feels like you're kind of an independently, like you're self-employed. This feels like you're self-employed. If you're not self-employed, you've got you being contracted out or your position is such to where um, your schedule can change every week or something. And it feels like you've got, you've got like three offers coming in. Well, there's a three there. Okay. But it feels like two or three offers in December and you're not wanting to make a move. It's going to be busy anyway in December, but it's almost like you're not going to want anything to change because you're going to be looking down the road to see what is the best way for you to go. And it's going to be more than one offer. I'll say that it feels like three, but then this is a three. So that's a no brainer, but it does feel like three, two or three. Um, so you're not going to really want to be dealing with, um, 
And the thing is, there's a relationship there. It's just not serious. It's you, it's, you're not going there. You're, it's like, there's this, I hate to say wall. And I hate to, if, I don't want you to live into this if it's not accurate. Like, I don't want you to sabotage yourself and think, well, I'm supposed to have a wall up. No, don't, don't listen to me. Because I just, I feel like, <laughs> no, do listen, but don't live into it if it doesn't fit. I feel like there's a romance, but it's kind of over here. It's not really featured. December is all about you looking down the road and trying to make decisions based on offers that are going to come in in December. You're going to be in negotiations for future prospects, um, again, three in December. And the relate you don't want the relationship to factor into that or feature into that. This is about you and your security. So um, your decision making and kind of your wanting to hold down the fort and just keep everything as drama free as possible is because you're going to be deciding on a few jobs um, in December and that they're going to be extending into the next year. Like it's going to be six months of here, three months of there. It's almost like you're being contracted out or something. It's like they're temporary positions and that's why you're wanting everything to line up or figure out what would be the most advantageous because they are temporary. Um, three months and six months, it feels like. Huh. So it could be like three months at one facility and then six months at another, or you get contracted for six months of producing such and such for someone or, or, you know what I mean? It's just, it's, you're wanting that to line up first before you worry about other stuff. And it really feels like that's where your focus is and, um, focusing on your job prospects and wanting to keep everything else about your life kind of almost private it's almost private it's, it feels like independent and private and there, there is a relationship it's just you're not you haven't taken it to the next level like there's not that seriousness so we've got you walking away or wanting to keep something at bay here not wanting to go to the next level and kind of wanting to uncomplicate your life so you can just do your own thing um could be you walking away from work but it feels like walking away from someone who's asking you to give more to something. And then it could be in September, they come back with an apology and kind of a, a tweaked offer, so to speak. And you're still not giving into it or you're still not going there because work throughout all of this is a focus for you and that long-term or that uh, security, that money. Okay, so what else for Capricorn? Capricorn. Oopsie. Aha, uh -huh, King of Wands. That fits. This could be Sagittarius. This is all about you, uh, male or female, but definitely wanting your own agency over your decisions. You know, having being able to have your own efficacy and agency uh, in your decisions in life, everything. This is you wanting to be at the helm. This is you wanting to decide what you're doing, where, with every pretty much every aspect of your life, wanting to, you know, call the shots in your relationship at work, being able to have control over your money. Capricorn. Contribution. Okay, so whatever you're doing, you're really wanting it to have a fulfilling impact for you as the out far as the output goes, and also for um, what it has for your customers or your employers, whatever you're that you, this this speaks to work ethic. And it's I don't know. I use your words. It's almost like if you decide again. There's that again. If you decide that you want to do this or that you want to go whole hog and this and do whatever, okay then. But for someone to ask more of you, it's almost insulting because you're like, I do so much already, and I don't want to have just because I can do it, just because I'm a powerhouse, just because you know if I show up, it'll be in spades, and you know it, you know you can count on me. Don't ask of me because I do so much for everyone all the time anyway. So it's almost insulting after all that I've done that you're still going to ask more of me. And I think that's why this is largely centered on about you being able to have the choice and the agency as far as what and where your energy goes because of how much you do give and how much contributing does mean to you. Okay. Okay. And the thing is, I could be 
just a, a jaded curmudgeon here and been like, you know, somebody's asking for of you and this and that. But you got the Six of Swords and the Eight of Cups here. And this is you going, enough. Stop asking of me. I work hard enough as it is. And if I am going to work that hard, I want it to be something I believe in. And I don't know that I believe in this anymore. I, I need to, I just, everybody need to back off. I need to think. Give me some space. I need to think. Okay, so we got the Page of Swords on its side. So communication could be spotty. The um, truthful communication or meaningful communication, proactive communication. There could be some bickering. There could be some some nice periods, and then there could be some bickering, and that you know the highs and the lows and what this communication and proactive communication spotty. Yeah. And then we've got um, two. It wasn't like this. It wasn't like this. It was like halfway and halfway. Yeah. Two of cups here. So this. And usually I turn that, but I'm leaving it on a side because I think that's actually quite uh, insightful. So we've got two of cups here and we've got the page of swords in limbo. So this is saying that you're wanting more time to decide what you want to give to a, you're wanting, you're wanting agency, efficacy, and even more time to think about and decide what is of value to you and what you hold of interest. And after that, it's what you want to work towards or what you want to put your energy towards after deciding what it is that, that floats your boat, that you want to align with, that you feel is really um, what you should be doing. After that, you want to decide how much you're going. So this is all about you wanting to have your own agency as far as where you put your energy, what brings you joy, what do you feel unified with at this point? Like, what do you feel really connected to? And it doesn't look like a romantic relationship is that. It's just not featuring prominently for you. It's not where your priorities are. You're you're really looking for um, money, longevity, long-term security with your job. So this is you, no matter how much or in what way a person asks you about commitment, you're, you're focused on you and your long-term security and your job you're just not it's yeah, okay you're keeping it at bay it feels like there's a part of you too that's kind of resigned like you just kind of know that that's how it is with this person that there's always going to be something they want to work on and you're just like i just can't deal with it this month you know so then that's maybe that's when communication is kind of spotty or um there's bickering instead of that you know there's there's the low instead of the high you know and highs aren't always good. I mean, highs can just be like really intense bickering and uh, that, that intense energy. But um, if we're talking, you know, good versus not good, that's when there's productive and you guys are in sync. And then it could go like this. And then all of a sudden there's that bickering and someone's just not content and they just want to work on something and they don't know why. And they want to... Mm -mm. I can kind of see why you're just not wanting to give a real... You're just, okay, you kind of go in and out just because it gets to be too much. The asking of you gets to be too much. Okay. Oh, good Lord. I think I got all of that. Okay. And I, I have to say, I like that you're firmly waiting and seeing or you're you're not making any decisions because, and, and strategically so, because you've got other things you want to worry about other than someone's um, perhaps issues du jour. <laughs> um, yeah, you can't fight all the battles, can you? So... Okay, I hope this was helpful, Capricorn. I hope to see you in the next reading. Um, I can't remember if I said I'm going to have a pick a deck or a pick a pile reading for this also, if that's your flavor, but um, you'll see that when it the video comes up. So, okay, so I um, hope you have a good June, and I hope to see you in the next reading. Thank you for stopping by. Much love and support to you, and thank you if you are an essential worker or first responders. Thank you for your service. All right, you take care.